The following program contains violence, disturbing imagery, nudity, and oh my god, why are you even watching this? Just run away. This shit is going to give you nightmares. For real. Nightmares where you are running naked on a treadmill made of razor blades, and your third grade teacher is pointing and laughing at you. And even if you survive the treadmill with your feet intact, she is going to tell you that you flunked the third grade, which negates all the rest of your achievements. The program is rated TV MA NSFW OMFG GAF TTV BYGAS. It is unsafe for epileptics. It kills lab rats. Why are you still here? This show came out of the dark recesses of a coked up guy's mind who has just been given too much privilege and access and now just takes a depraved delight in disturbing and scaring you. In fact, if we're being totally honest here, the original creator never expected a third season pickup, so now he's just trying to think of creative ways to kill the characters off. Seriously, d don't watch this. We can't warn you strongly enough. Do you need a doctor of some kind? What is the matter with you? is a no disqualifications match. Making his way to the ring from Orlando, Florida, weighing in at 240 pounds, the All-American Corey Flash. On WWA Haywire episode four, Kevin Impact, who somehow finally has hair on his head, announced that the four-corner survival match is now going to be a Trident match. Devontae Wright has been removed from the match and will be challenging King Wolf for the Power Championship. That's good for him, but I was really looking forward to whooping his ass in this very ring. Now my full attention turns to Trey Jeter and Michael Blaze. These two sons of bitches are in for a rude awakening. The all-star kid Corey Flash didn't come to WWA just to sit back and watch others win gold. He came here to conquer and prove to a certain somebody that he still got it. I have plenty of doubters out there who don't think I should have an opportunity anywhere, but I really don't give a fuck. My sole focus at the moment is winning at Heir to the Throne and making them shut their fucking mouths. Trey Jeter and Michael Blaze, I'll see you two punk ass bitches soon. All Star Kid out. Yeah. I spit raps like a heart attack, fast fatal heart impact, past painful scars, in fact I blast tasteful bars and packs, I back up my actions, fact don't ask, grab reactions, jacked attack with every word, then act with class as they hear me snap, I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise, now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they produce, I ain't lost, I'm finally loose, pick a new silver excuse, I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used, everybody wants a piece now, y'all can rest in peace, now you're dead to me so peace out, remember you just discreet out, Keep ready for defeat now I'm gonna make you bleed out Listen on repeat now And weed out all the weak now Get up and make a change Don't remember yesterday If you got something to say Speak your mind before your grave Cause your life is yours to save Ain't nobody gonna change Everybody Welcome ladies and gentlemen To WWE Shockwave I was gonna... Woo! We heard from the all-star kid Corey Flash at the top of the show it's going to be a great show for you here tonight. So in Seattle, Washington, ladies and gentlemen, I am the Black Italian Stain, that is Vincent Del Pino, and we're going to have ourselves a great show tonight. Three sixty-five, three hundred and sixty-five days, including that leap year. <laughs> One year. Equals to 12 months. Those 12 months 
break down into those hours. Those hours break down into those minutes. Those minutes break down to those seconds. Those seconds break down to those milliseconds. And within those milliseconds, all can change. But without a shadow of doubt, the truth remains and the truth prevails because the truth is this no matter what the truth beats the clock and i am your wwa beat the clock champion and within that i am the master of time i control my opportunities, I control my destiny, and I control my time And when I shock and make a wave amongst the masses. It doesn't matter who steps up against me across that squared circle. It does not matter. The fact is this. The truth will hurt in an instant. A truthful injection will be hit and you'll realize the truth hurts and in that smoke clears Mikey truth yours truly the iconic deity that you hail down to me will have my arm raised in victory. And we are here with our opening contest. It's a number one contender match for the Beat the Clock Championship. And we got Jeffrey Albritton taking on Flash. And we saw Flash on Haywire. He got his ass kicked by the Carolina Hunter Trey Jeter. The following contest is an extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring from Arlington, Virginia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Jeffrey A. Thank you, JoJo. And Jeffrey Albritton has won multiple championships over multiple different places, including Wrestle Kingdom, where he recently lost the IWGP Championship to Mr. Amazing. So. Question is, we walk out into the throne a double champion. And here comes and Flash. From Richmond, Virginia, weighing in at 241 pounds, the natural ball. And here is Flash. He is part of the Newsome Club. Who made their debut last on Haywire as well. Against the Bruiser. And a returning Jason Kawhi for one night and one night only. But Flash doesn't seem to be in a good mood after what happened to him. With Trey Jeter. Uh... So let's see how that aspect affects him in his match here tonight. Well, we got Jeffrey Albritton, Flash. Here we go. 15 minutes is on the clock. This is for the kind of beat the whole. Point this is to beat the clock. Beat your opponent before time is up. Oh, it flashes. Pimp slap. Jeffrey across the face. And oh. Oh, Jeff was just had Flash in the corner. He was just punching him. Ooh, Flash is bringing him down. He's, oh, wrenching that arm like he did. Flash is he's good. If I remember correctly, he's a former JTV World Champion, and I, I, I think so. I'm not completely and totally sure. Um, ooh, they both look double bots right there. I guess. Ooh. All Britain with a Pele. They draw Flash. Flash retaliating. In the corner. Oh, with a knee to the corner. 
Oh, he's just stomping all Britain. Ooh, leg drop across the head of all Britain from Flash. Flash is wrenching the neck of Jeffrey all Britain. Of all Britain here. Ooh. Ooh, throws him down. The black son of CAW wrestling. Oh, nope. Jeff's like, nope. You thought Flash. Mmm. Flash is. Oh, Jeff tried to bring him down, but it didn't work. It's three blade. That brought Flash down to his knees. Oh, Flash caught it. Oh, you got Jeff. And oh. Caught him. Jeff's like, you thought. Right here. And he put and he brings Flash down. Flash. Oh. The back and forth between Flash and All Britain. Uh oh. Picks him up. Brings him down. Could Flash be going to the edge of the throne? Oh, thought he had Jeff there, but no, nope, he reverses it. Jeff. Black Hulk. The pin. One, two. Oh, kick out at two. For that. Oh, he's going for a block. Oh, he's going for trying to hit a dirt of pin on Flash. Couldn't get it. Uh, just dump it away at Flash. Jeffy wants to go to Air to the Throne and meet Mikey Truth for the Beat the Clock title. But Flash is trying to prevent him from getting there. Ooh, crucifix. One, two, oh, kick out at two. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Free blade! From all Britain. All Britain said he wants Flash to get up. Oh, the super kick! Oh, Jeff hit him with a super kick! Oh, and Flash reverses whatever Jeff was going for right there. Ten minutes left in his match. Flash is addressing himself while Jeff was on the ropes. But Flash! Boom! Hit him with that. That comeback right there. That was pretty good. Ooh, but Jeff is like, you thought. Oh. Jeff, a trigger. One, two, ooh, kicks out at two. That had to hurt. And Flash is kicking Jeff off. Ooh, brings him down. Oh, rolling elbow. Jeff is going for a high, going high risk for a very high oh my reward, but he ended up crashing and burning thanks to Flash. And Jeff, oh my God, he's going back up for another high risk. High reward! Oh my God, he misses again. Flash rolls out of the way. Ooh. Ooh. 
He just dropped Flash down with that. Jeff is going for another black hole slam. Here we go. One, two, three. And Jeff Yard Britain is going to air to the throne. I see a robbery brewing here between All Britain and Flash. Mm -mm. Look at this. He thought he had him. Boom. Hey, look, Flash. Yaga. Dropped him like that. And Jeff got caught out of the midair. I flashed when he went for that high risk, high reward. Jeff put on a great match here tonight. Here is your winner, Jeffrey He put on a great match here. And let's get on into our next bout. And there's someone we haven't seen in a while. Making his way to the ring from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 225 pounds, Nightmare Chris Cassidy. Crow is making his way to the ring. Here in WWA. He's a former tag team world champion. He's done it all here in WWA. Recently, uh, about a season or two ago, he was to link it up back with his brothers in OTL. Uh, one of the most hated people on this roster had to admit it, but it's true. The most hated person on the roster. Just 
they try to get the time. I got hoes calling a young nigga for And here comes his opponent, OTP. Last time was the OTP, he was fighting Mr. Amazing for the championship. And we're hearing uh, people in the background, in the crowd, because they're trying to troll us. But hey. The raging Cajun is making his way into the ring. Ain't a lie, he has one of the flyest theme songs in WWA. Mo Bumble. I'm not going to call you with that. Shit, go hard. OTB versus Crow. Here we go. Oh, the knee to the face of OTP. And it drops him. Oh, another knee. To the face. Oh, he's just dropping him. What's this? Holy smoking sweetness. That just hurt him what the fuck is going on in here oh shit what the fuck Corey, where the fuck you come from Corey Flash where the fuck do you think I came from I came from the crowd god damn it what what what, what what what's going on what are you doing right here in commentary right now I'm just here to fuck shit up on this show well damn yep so I really don't give a damn so any thoughts about about uh, about your matches, about your match, about your match, answer to the throne, anything like. The mic is yours. Well, Speak your mind. I've already, I've already cut a promo about my match at Air to the Throne, but I can say whatever the fuck I want on this show. So, yeah, I, I'm gonna say a few things. Um, what the fuck does um, the man with the hairs think that he's doing? What the fuck is he doing, taking talent that? I actually want to face in the match and removing them from the match and keeping the other two jackasses in the fucking match. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't sell Michael Blaze and Trey Diva short now. Nah, I, I don't give a fuck about either one of them, so it <laughs> it doesn't bother me. I mean, Trey's a former WWE champion here. Multiple well, WWE you know, champions. No, Trey's leaving, so it doesn't really fucking matter what he's doing. I mean, and he's leaving Shockwave, Michael I mean, Blaze, but... Yeah, he's leaving Shockwave to go to Haywire, and Michael Blaze, uh, well, he's just a fucking idiot, so I don't give a damn about him either. Well, I mean, <laughs> what about this match? This is a good match here. This match going on right now? Yeah. I'm not paying any fucking attention to that because it doesn't involve me. True. I mean, so the only person you wanted to face in this whole fucking match was Mr. Amazing. Yes, that is correct. I wanted to face Mr. Amazing Devontae Wright. And since he's been removed from the match, I'm just going to full rush through this fucking match, win the championship, and say fuck it all. Okay, so what if he wins the power championship at Answer the Throne? If Devontae Wright wins the power championship at Heir to the Throne, then you may see Corey Flash go after the power championship. Okay. But he is the current Wrestle Kingdom IWGP champion. He beat Albritton. He beat Jeffrey, yes. But I don't give a fuck about that championship right now. I only care about these championships. And if he somehow wins the power championship, which I believe that he's going to be King Wolf for the fucking power championship, because King Wolf is just a fucking jackass. Oh, well, damn. And I get that you have problems with, with, with Wolf, but I mean, come on. He's not a bad talent. 
King Wolf is not a bad talent, but I just don't give a fuck about him either. Really? I don't give a fuck about anybody, me, myself, and I. It's all about Corey Flash, the all-star kid, and you could run to the bank with that one. Okay, so now, now we're still in lines with Sasha Banks now? I uh, ain't the Sasha Banks line. Ask the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. So you think you think so you think that you're the best talent on the whole WWE roster and WWE history, don't you? I think I'm the best talent of all time in any promotion. Any oh, promotion just... anywhere in the world. So you're just gonna dis disregard legends like Dylan the Razor Waves. Uh, the Anna, the Samoan animal Jason Kawhi, who by the way beat, who helped beat the living shit out of the nuisance club on Haywire. You fucking right. I'm gonna disregard them. They are nothing compared to me. I'm just getting started here in WWA, but around the world, I'm known for what I do. I've been a world champion. I've been a tag team champion. I've been around and people know my name and they're gonna continue to know my name. They respect me and they don't give a shit about anybody else but me. Uh, I'd like to disagree on that. Well, I don't give a fuck what you say. I mean, I will beat your ass. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? You'll beat my ass. Well, let me just come across that fucking commentary table and beat the fuck out of you. Uh, shit, what are you doing in the fucking ring, motherfucker? Oh, fuck it, I don't like you anyway. You ass wipe. Shit, my son will beat your fucking ass. Oh, really? A yes. family affair. A family affair coming after the All-Star Kid. You really want to fucking have a family affair coming against the All-Star Kid? I mean, you... Do not make me, do not make me have my brother come and whoop his ass. Flash got, <laughs> Flash got his butt whooped by Trey on Haywire. I mean, come on. Well, Trey cheap shot that motherfucker. He, your brother attacked him first! How is that a cheap shot? That is a fucking cheap shot, and you know it. Flash literally attacked Trey first. He punched him in the face. How is that a cheap shot? I would get if, well, okay, Flash was if trying Trey, to make a statement, goddammit. Flash if, was trying to make a fucking statement. If Trey had hit Flash first, okay, that would have been a cheap shot. But your brother literally Flip Trey around and then punch him in the face. How is that a cheap shot? How is, the, how, how, how is that a cheap shot? Well, Trey threw a punch at him. That's a cheap shot. Uh, oh, so defending himself is a cheap shot. You fucking right, Luis. By what standard the flashes, is it? The flashes stand tall. You don't ever fucking put your hands on the flashes. Again. Oh, you don't... And you don't put your hands on a member of the Kawhi family either. I mean, come on. The Newsome Club did that to Jason. To Rick. I'm sorry, not Jason. To Rick. Well, just because Flash is attached to the Newsome Club doesn't mean that he, he gives a fuck. He gives a fuck about the Newsome Club. He was literally going to be at ringside with them before Trey attacked him. For, well, for no like that, before he attacked Trey. He's a, part of the fucking, he's a part of the fucking stable. No shit. But why, why the fuck, why are we talking about Flash? This is all about me. It's about Corey Flash, not Flash. Okay. Oh, well then. The All-Star Kid thinks it's all about him. It is all about me. I'm the fucking champion. I'm the truth. I'm the All-Star Kid. You're, you're not you. champion yet, Flash. You're not champion yet, Corey. In my fucking mind, I'm champion. I know I'm champion, and I will continue to be champion everywhere I go. Okay, let's say Trey wins and adds to the throne and takes the title to Haywire. What you gonna do then? That ain't gonna happen. Trey's not going anywhere with that championship. That championship is coming home with me. You really think so? I don't think so. I know so. So... You come out here with your five dollar jeans, your twenty dollar shoes, and your what? And your mm, I don't even give you a fifty cent shirt on, and you think that you're gonna just walk out champion? I know I'm gonna walk out champion. And why? Why are you talking about my clothes? I can go and get a fucking dollar store T-shirt if I wanted to. It doesn't matter what I look like in the ring. It just matters that I get the job done. 
only thing that's good about you is your danger zone apparel ring attire. That's the only thing that's good about you. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Plug in danger zone apparel, don't you? Hey, I mean, you do rock their shirts. You do rock their merchandise. That's that's my attire. Of course I wear it. I mean, so you got it for like free. I said, like I said, I can I can go get a dollar store t-shirt, a dollar store shorts, and some dollar store fucking whatever the fuck shoes, whatever whatever type of apparel I can put on me, and it doesn't matter what I'm wearing as long as I'm getting the job done in the ring. Cause this fucking company and any other fucking company doesn't pay me well enough. One, two, three. Well, thank you, Corey Flash, and I'll see you. Guess we'll see well, your. fuck you. I guess we'll see your bitch ass in the main event. I hope you get your ass I'll kicked. I'll show you. I'll show you what's up in the main event. All right. Hope you get your ass kicked. Anyway, this match was a great match, despite despite the interruption from Corey Flash right there. Um, the crowd beat Mr. DiBiase, and I'm praying that he does it. Corey Flash doesn't win to the throne or win any title in WWE for that matter, because he's a complete and total asshole. But we'll see. Well, let's get on to our next match because I need to see some more good wrestling. Earlier today, Crow text tweeted out about Trey Lee joined to WWA Haywire, and um, but a very very jet lag Trey Jeter let him know that uh he was gonna go he's coming that he he's like all right if you want to talk trash you want me to, on the go home show let's do this and WWA made it official it's gonna be a scrap trap match. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our current main event of the evening. Making his way to the ring from Connecticut, weighing in at 242 pounds, Noah Youngblood.
So, and no young boy is the Wrestle Kingdom Legends Champion. Um, he's not wearing it here tonight because he just is. He does well, just have to defend it. So, and uh, he's just chilling right now. You know, <laughs> he's just chilling right now because he, you know, like I ain't got to defend it. Let's, let's just put it in the work real quick for Shockwave and then go where else I need to go. Then do what else I gotta do. He's joining his FIP, his Force of Pain brothers, uh, Michael Blaze, Dre Havoc, Coach Shields, and Trey Jeter here in WWA. And so, uh, this should be a good little match here. Heard from, I had to say, disrespectful Corey Flash. But I give him his problem what he do, he's good in that ring, but he's still disrespectful. Michael Blaze, not Michael Blaze, Azrael, I'm thinking my force and pain here, and I'm off, <laughs> but, yes, and, uh, Jojo here, but I was not saying nothing. Jojo, what's up? You following Dally Jogger? Come on, what's going on here? Yep, she's falling down on the job right now, guys. Not talking. I don't get why Jojo's not talking. I keep waiting for her to talk, but she's not talking, and it's, it's aggravating. For JoJo or Azrael or anything, he's like, screw this. Let's get this over with, babe. Ooh, and Azrael is uh, no. Oh, oh, gore. And he's ready to get this. Hit him with another gore, puts him down. Oh! He's got him. Boom! Oh, suplex. Oh, he's going for something there, and uh, Azrael caught him off guard. Oh, look at that punch to the face. From Noah. Oh, and Azrael reverses it. He throws Noah in the corner and Noah reverses. Oh. 
Oh, brings him down with authority right there. That's what I'm talking about, Noah. Oh, caught him. Ooh, drop kick to the knee right there. Ooh, super kick right there. He's going for the pin. One. Ooh, he didn't think that was going to do any damage, did it? Look at this. Ooh, caught him. Ooh, brings him down. And he's puts him, he's he's doing taking him to the corner. Oh, 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 oh. And the combination is just beating him down. That's what I'm talking about. Beat him down. Make your debut one to remember, kid. Noah's in the corner. Yaga caught him slipping. Now he's going for that pin right there. Two. Three. Oh my God. And Noah Youngblood wins his debut match. Ooh, super kick right there. Andrew thought that was it. And now he's out. I was off on the count at the end right there. Look at this. Doom, 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 doom. Look at this. Bow. One, two, three. Here we That's what I'm winner, talking about. Noah, young blood. Noah made good on his debut match and he went in, did what he had to do and came out victorious. That's what I'm talking about. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to our main event of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. And we got the chosen one, Max Carino, taking on the All-Star King Court Flash in your main event of the evening. Devil, what do you think? Right, he's the chosen one because his dad is CCW, former CCW owner, Tony Carino. So, he thinks that he deserves everything that he gets, so he thinks he's the chosen one. He thinks he's the uncrowned WWE champion. Well, the future WWE All-Star champion, he thinks that he's uncrowned and is supposed to be his. But hey, we'll see. My confidence is leaving me on my own. No one can see how that goes. Rock and roll with the ice solar. So let's see how good this match is gonna be. Welcome to the party is the All-Star Kid Car Flash. Of 
flat wheel from that David's own apparel the shirt that he's got and the tights all from David's own apparel, baby. They rock, they gon' be fire, I'm telling you. Hit him up, huh? Get him up, huh? Put him up, huh? is on his fast track, too. Air to the throne. We are two episodes away from the Air to the Throne. And, oh, Max Carino comes in with a clothesline to Corey Flash. Oh, and Max ain't playing no games. He's stomping away at Corey Flash. He wants to show Corey that he's the chosen one. He's going to show Corey that he doesn't belong in WWE. Even though he was hand-picked by the Carolina Hunter Trey Jeter and pitched to them by the director of talent, Big John Cassidy. Oh, Big John Cassidy offered him a contract. Corey took it. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's dropping him. Look at Max. Oh, Max with a shoulder tackle to Corey Flash. Oh, the super kick from the chosen one. A chosen super kick. This is, ooh, Corey bringing that pressure. Oh, oh, he's out. He went for something right there. I don't know what he went for. Corey is just throwing him over his shoulder like that. Corey throws Max into the corner. He's going for a pin. Early, early in the match, he's going for a pin. Oh, and Max kicks out at one. Oh, 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 he suckered him in. With that, Corey was suckered in. Oh, knees to the knees to the mat. That had to hurt. Look at Corey. Corey. And Max, oh, with a kick to the face of Corey Flash. Corey's legs are hurting right now. Oh, oh, chosen, oh my God, chosen buster. And now he's showing off. He's showing off at Corey. Oh. 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 Corey with that. Corey got hit with that combination. Uh-oh. Chosen kick. Chosen kick is coming. Oh, and Corey reverses the chosen kick. Holy smoke and sweet is Corey reverses the chosen kick. Uh-oh. Look at Corey. He's jumping. Oh, Corey Splash, a flash flash, two, oh, a kick out, and two, and a half. Corey is bringing that, Corey's trying to, oh, ooh, go for the pin, one, oh, kick out at one. Corey, ooh. Corey is trying to. Oh, oh, up and over. Corey Flash, holy smoke and sweetness. Corey Flash is coming with that fire right now. Oh, oh, into the steel steps. Uh oh, Carino, Carino's not playing any games. And Corey, oh, Corey gets hit in the face with the steel steps from Carino. Seems like the people that's coming in from JTV keep seeing, forget there's, there's 20 count no disqualifications. Oh. Uh oh. Chosen Buster. 
No. He wants Corey to get out. This is going to be good. Remember those steps are in the ring right now. Corey. Corey's going up. No, no, no. Oh, my God. On the steps. Corey. He's got dropped on the steps from Carino. Grizz going up. Corey. Super kick. Come on. Holy crap. Oh, damn. He just knocked him the fuck out. For some reason, Corey went for a move and Max was able to reverse it just in time. He thought he was knocked out, but it stunned him. Oh, my Corey got him. He's on top rope. This is going to be good. No. Oh my god, his leg landed on the steel steps. Oh my god, Corey. Ooh, with that from Cormo. As as some of his friends call him, they call him Cormo. Steel chair. Ooh. Someone's finna get fucked up with that one. Oh! Oh! His hand went into that. Look at those steps. He is on fire right now. Corey. Got him up. Spin him. Ooh. Nice move from Corey Flash right there. But no. Max is like, not today, fam. And Corey is rolling. Well, he was going to roll out the ring, but he reversed whatever he was going for right there. Oh, the knee lift from Corey Slash. Going for a pin. One, two. Kick out at two and a half. Oh, the drop kick. Corey's got him. Oh. Oh, combination from Corey Flash. That was a beautiful combination at that. Look at this. Oh, Corey with a splash. With a flash splash. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, Corino is down for the count right now. Look at Flash. Good. Oh! To the stomach and balls. Boom! A slap to the face. That was just wrong. Oh, so many levels. That was wrong. Come on. Oh, what a kick to the face. He's going for the rest. Uh, chosen Buster. Corey. Corey has, he keeps going for something. I don't know what he's going for. He keeps reversing it. Corey keeps catching him in the middle of it. Oh, my God. Oh. Threw him over the top rope. But Corey. Right to go for the pin. One. Two. Oh, kick out at two and three quarters from Carino. Court. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That's hurting Max right there. Super kick. Oh, Corey Flash. Corey. Corey's going for a flash additional. I smell it coming. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's got him. He's going for it. Boom. Brings Corey Flash down. And Corey keeps catching whatever Carino's going for right there. And he just slams him down. Veteran move from the young guy. Oh my God, and he caught Corey. Come on, top rope. 
And Corey throws Corey back into the ring. Oh, reverses that drop kick. Uh oh. Flash traditional coming. Flash traditional. He's going up top. He's going for it. Oh! Six, four, thirty-six. I can't remember what it is right now. One, two, three. Corey Flash wins tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a great match from Corey Flash. I'm sorry to cut you off, Corey, but fuck it, no win celebration for you. Anyway, as some of you know, over this last week, we lost someone in the CAW community, known as Cody the Nightmare Brainerd. So, what we're going to do here for him tonight, we're going to give him a 10-bell salute, and we're going to end the night off with, you know with silence and to remember it so here's to you cody and until we see you again <laughs>